it goes. Dark Eye Mirror would be sweet. Yep, Dark Eye Weaver. So this one will be interesting. Both of them have some pretty nice traps that they, of course, want to set up. Uh, Dark Eye having more traps, uh, considering his whole archetype as a character. Weavile, what I would really like to see uh, is the interaction of Agility and Taunt against Darkrai. I think that'd be really interesting to see with Weavile, but we're going to get in game number one here. Set of trust. See, Paper not being patient at all, going right in with a dive kick on that. Goes for the Schwa. Schwa is actually very good in this matchup. Goes under a lot of Darkrai's projectile game. Now Paper Tech has him in the corner. He's getting a little bit, he's getting some straight hits here, but he's able to get the concern in there. On the ice punch. Setting up the traps. So Dark Knight really doesn't want to move. He uh, really doesn't want to move at all, linearly. So, Paper setting up the traps right where he's at is a great sign because kind of wants to be setting up a lot of traps in the field. And if you can lock Dark Knight down with the ice pillars, then you're going to be winning field most likely. So, Dive Take and she is in the punch. It has very dark eyes. Uh, dive kick and field is actually very punishable, and then in duel as well. So you just have to know the positioning of it. Kind of able to set up a little bit of traps. He's not out of this fight yet, so he's doing a lot of good shit here. Oh, it actually is the high duke and able to get him out of the phase change before the dark eye even comes, or before the dragon knight even comes out. There's Picano trying to grab the end of the round, not able to get it. Very risky move. If Paper went for the 8x, that would actually have been the round, so very risky move. He's going to go for the burst, gets a chip. He's going to punish, no punish on that, but he's going to get a full CA. No punish on the knockoff there, that would have ended the round, but the full CA would get it regardless. Paper doing a great job locking him down again. She's doing a really good job not letting the comic get anything going in real. She's really able to lock him down with those ice traps. And here comes Dragon Knight from the next ship. She goes straight in from the charge and is able to get a nice wall combo. It's about Dark Rise sitting about half health now. Tries to jump out, but at a very unsafe time. And able to punish uh, the Night Slash actually by going for the hands. The Dark Rise hands. Whoa. Kind of really favoring the charge CA, but it's able to recognize that he will not win that exchange. Trying to jump out. Paper able to slot underneath it. And that will take the round. So paper firing back here. Kind of sitting about half half synergy burst. He, can, he has not been able to act by nightmare mode at all during this round, so let's see if we get to here. You can see this is what I'm kind of talking about with these traps. So he, was able, he wasn't able to confirm off of the hands uh, because the ice trap was right in front of him, so he could not actually go and confirm and Paper is able to win that field phase because of it. It's looking like a very nice matchup for Weavile, just for the fact of her traps, or his traps, or whichever Weavile you want to be, uh, really hinders his setup as well. So. Yeah, so being able to spam those uh, the ice traps is actually very hindering the dark cry. Nice job of Picano able to air tech out of that situation so that he was not in the corner and actually versus the corner, but he is pretty floaty and he jumps straight up in the air. They were able to get have a ton of time to get the correct punish off with the burst. So, some Aegis coming up from Picano. Uh, not being able to capitalize on the CA. And now we're in field. So here's the ice traps. Which the paper can just sit here and try to get a confirm off of these ice traps, but it's actually getting hit with the hands of Econo sitting on full burst. Tries to, in this case, grab, but gets hit with the knockoff. Here comes Dragonite. Not able to confirm from the kill. Here comes the 2Y, and then. Right through the first confirmation, not able to get it. 12 seconds left, and it's just the schwa. Paper sack sliding into the DMs for the win. We're going on to game number two.
going in round number two. We did see a couple changes. Yep, kind of going for the tried and true break soon. The Kukitals are coming out. So kawaii. Psybeam's coming out, flying back a little bit, going for some zoning, setting up some fire blast. Just getting some nice chip setups that are going here. Able to zone, paper out a little bit. This paper is trying for a really hyper aggressive approach. He's able to get in there. And able to get the wall combo for the confirm. Alright, the Kiki Tau's coming down and able to get a little mini confirm there. Tries to call out the shift to the right. Not able to get it. Kind of knowing the punish there on the dive kick. But this misses the light screen. This time's actually the light screen there. Vapor able to get the correct punish off. But he's not going to kill. Calling out the Dragonite for the chip. Oh, he's going to light screen all the way through it. He does. But Paper, recognizing that he's doing that, goes for the full charge to break the counter attempt. Round number two, Paper is back sitting on match point. Correct punish again, coming out from Picano. Dragon Edge with some chip. Paper not able to get the confirm, but does get a nice chunk of damage from the Dragon Knight. Trying to get the pusher back. Great job there by Paper, recognizing that the CA is coming out and able to punish with the burst. This is going to sap some synergy away from Picano. Picano going into burst. See, Paper able to get the taunt off, which gives the synergy down, so it's actually very important right now. So she's just sitting there eating all these projectiles with the taunt. And able to avoid the synergy burst here with the punish. Oh, tries for the dive kick, but the trajectory is just not there. But she does get a nice 8Y confirm. And then the wall combo there for Kano sitting on his left side. He has Fennekin to push her off if needed. And actually reacts to it with the jump up. Oh, oh, oh some great evasion there by Paper for the end. Uh, it's a jump straight up to avoid the Fennekin and it just comes down with a dive kick. Great job there by Paper.